And so you open the scoring in this one. You finish the scoring. I'm sure that was a pretty nice bookend because you get the first goal. Your team jumps out to a big lead. Frostburg battles back, pulls even, but ultimately you get the deciding one. Talk me through uh, what your team was feeling like after they tied it and you had to ultimately go out and win this one late in the fourth. Uh, to be honest, we were, uh, we were confident. We, uh, we've been really focused on preparing each week for our opponent and more so just looking in the mirror and understanding what it takes from our side to finish these games. And uh, we were just confident in ourselves, confident in our abilities, confident in our defense, our face-off unit to win, uh, win that possession, and then confident in our offense to uh, ultimately finish the game there at the end. You're a senior. Just talk to the keeper who's a senior. There's a lot of guys who are in their fourth or some who are in their fifth year with this program. How much does it help maybe having the, those veterans who have been around it who know what to expect, especially when a game gets tight? Yeah, I think it's everything. Um, as you mentioned, just that experience factor uh, is, is huge at this level, um, at any level really, just having guys that are – emotional soundboards and um, players like number six Crouch and uh, Logan 26 guys that have been uh, in, in starting roles and in big prominent roles for for most of their four years here five years and guys like Esther Brooks and Thomas Anulak and Dave St. Clair um, one in the same so I think it's uh, it's everything. You mentioned Logan, Logan Gray. He's one of the best face-off guys around. He doesn't score a lot, but he get one. He got one today. Uh, how excited was everyone else when, when they saw that he got the tally? Yeah, that was a huge goal for us. Um, I believe it was it was in, in an area where Frostburg had, had scored a couple unanswered goals, and Logan was able to answer back and just uh, help build that confidence even more and, and just really get the sideline more involved, and then the sideline feeds the field. So that was huge. I talked to your coach, Brian Novotny, and he said one of the biggest things is finding consistency today and the rest of the way to get to the ultimate goals. How do you make sure your team does that? Well, it's just about doing the little things right. Uh, you know, we've, we've had a big emphasis on showing up early to practice, staying late, hitting the wall, just making sure our sticks are dialed and um, that we're confident in ourselves and in our abilities because that, that, that'll directly translate to the field. So it's just about doing the right things in practice, doing the right things off the field, um, and just – trusting that the work we put in is going to pay off on game day. Have a pretty difficult stretch here. Obviously, today's game was a tight one, and then you play Lake Erie at home and then two on the road at Mercyhurst, and then you'll see this Frostburg State team again. So over the next couple of weeks, so what were going to be the biggest factors to make sure that you continue to play at a high level? Uh, to be honest, we uh, we started great today. It's going to come down to taking care, taking care of the ball. I believe we had uh, less than 10 turnovers, and that's been a huge emphasis for us. And it was it was really great to finally see that pay off for us and, and earn a victory today, being uh, playing a fundamental sound game for most of the game. And uh, just moving forward, it's going to come down to that, uh, just starting early and, and finishing strong through each quarter, taking possessions one by one. Um, and ultimately just scoring more goals than the other team. Uh, you scored one more today than the other team, and you were the man who put it in. Jeremy, thank you for taking the time to do this. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, give a shout-out. We, yeah, we had people Mitch, I know. <laughs> we Mitch. had people from uh, what, Las Vegas yeah. tuning in all yeah. across the country. That's my uncle, probably uh, one of the biggest Division II lacrosse fans in the nation. So shout-out to Uncle Mitch and all the family and friends. I'm sure they enjoyed home. watching this one today. Jeremy, thank you for taking the time to do this. Thank you. Appreciate it.